Hey guys, it's Riley here and welcome to Let's FIFA 18. It's been a long time since I've been sitting behind a microphone, but it's good to be back and uh, we are kicking off with some FIFA 18 action. I am very much looking forward to playing a lot of games on Ultimate Team. Uh, I always feel like this stage of FIFA is always the best when you start on an Ultimate Team. You start from scratch, you have nothing, the game is new and fresh and you are sort of trying to, to build uh, your dream team, starting out with nothing and trading and playing matches and sort of build a good team and uh, this year we'll sort of be playing uh, everything in ultimate team in this series in past years we've been playing a lot of divisions but uh, this time around we'll be touching on foot champions we'll be touching on the draft uh, of course the divisions and maybe the offline game mode in uh, in form of um, of the squad battles at least look at it see if we can get some rewards from that so in this episode uh, we are building our starter squad. We're completing some squad building challenges. We are having a bit of pack luck. I'd say I'd say that we got a little bit lucky in our packs and um, Then uh, in the next episode, we'll jump in to some gameplay I wanted to have a match in this episode, but it just ended up getting way too long the episode So I saved that for tomorrow a lot of gameplay So a new addition to ultimate team this year is that you can choose a region where region where you want to get the majority of your players from and I went with Italy so I think that's a very nice touch. You have a bit more uh, sort of of an option instead of just getting random players. Now you have a bit more of a choice. So uh, I quickly swap the players around. I end up with 87 chemistry here uh, from my starter pack. And the reason behind choosing Italy was that I want to build a Serie A squad from the beginning of the game. Um, there is a lot of good cheap players, especially midfielders that are very, very good and defenders as well in the league. Uh, so I think that would be, be a good starting league uh, to sort of have a competitive squad in uh, uh, in the divisions and uh, and such. And of course, there's also Nani, there's Costa and there's Cuadrado as five-star skillers in the league. So there's a lot of options uh, to go with. So I'm quite happy with that. And I choose, chose Buffon as my lone player, which uh, you get from the beginning because, well, it fits with the Italian theme. And uh, another new addition to the game is that you get to choose uh, your kits and you also get to choose your batch. So I went with the PSG third kit. I think it looks very, very nice. And then for contrast, I went with the Spain kit and uh, then a batch as well. And I went with the Kaiser Chiefs. I was looking at the China one as well, uh, but I didn't like the logo is nice, but I didn't like the text on top of it. So I went with the Kaiser Chiefs one. And uh, I think this is a very nice addition that you get to choose all of these things from the beginning compared to previous years where you just get some random stuff. Now you actually have a bit more control and it feels a bit more like uh, you decide what is going on. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, we get some welcome back gifts as well. We get some, uh, some FIFA kits, uh, ultimate team kits, and we get some player packs. So we'll start out with these. And in the first one, uh, we do actually get a decent player from the Bundesliga. Uh, he got four-star skills and four-star weak foot. But what I decided to do was to send it all to the transfer list, keep the Italians. And apart from that, just sell on stuff, get some coins in so I can build my starter squad and play some matches online because I don't want to jump into online games uh, with uh, a bronze silver squad where I don't know any of the players and don't have any skill moves. I want to have some players that at least can uh, produce a little bit of magic for me when I start playing. So yeah, we open up these packs and we get our first rare goal player, Iterbe. Unfortunately, he's no longer Argentinian and he's no longer in Serie A, so uh, difficult to link him up with anyone and he is going to get sold as well. So. Um, one thing I didn't think of when uh, sending all these players to the transfer list was that they could be used in squad building challenges as well because there's a lot of those uh, which you can complete here at the beginning and get some nice rewards in. So uh, I didn't think about this at this stage, uh, but um, we will uh, be thinking about that a little bit later into this episode. But uh, for now, we're just sending stuff to the transfer list and it got uh, I have my transfer list sort of full because you can only have 30 items there before you claim stuff in uh, in the catalog, which we'll do in a second. But first off, I was looking at the new objective system, which is very nice because previous years, we always had the manager tasks, which you complete in the beginning and then they're just there and they serve no purpose. You just have that tap with manager tasks and yeah, just annoying. But uh, this year, very, very nice. You have starter objectives uh, where there's like five different categories you can complete. So you complete the first one, you unlock the next one and so on. And then you have daily objectives, meaning there's new challenges each day to get some small rewards, which I think is very, very nice. And uh, after I just looked at the objectives, I went into the catalog, uh, I got the coin boosts. 
So we get a thousand coins per match. Very useful in the beginning of the game, of course. Then I went out and uh, sort of increased the size of my transfer list and also picked up uh, some kits. I went with the special kits and then I went with all the classic kits. So the special kits are always nice to have. And the classic kits, the thought about those was to discard them. Same thing with the footballs. Uh, they will discard for a nice amount of coins, especially in the beginning where I have 200 coins. Every single penny I can get, I will take. So uh, yeah, uh, I just redeemed all of these things. And uh, with that, uh, I had a lot of new items uh, to claim. Uh, and it took me a little while to find out where to find it. Uh, it's down at the bottom there. And uh, yeah, all the special kits I sent to my, to my club. And uh, all the other things, I just decided, decided, you know what, we're going to discard it. And we got a couple thousand coins that way. I also sold on a couple players on my transfer list and ended up with uh, a little bit over 3,000 coins. A nice starting uh, starting uh, mount, I suppose. And uh, with that, I jumped into the squad building challenges. First, you have to complete like a sort of tutorial one, uh, tutorial squad building challenge before you can unlock the next one. So uh, very, very simple. Just add in some random players. Uh, first a goalkeeper, then the next one is two center backs and a CDM. Uh, and they don't really need to link up here. So very, very easy to complete and you get uh, some bronze packs, meaning you get some bronze players, some bronze consumable items, which you can use to one, complete more squad building challenges and two, you can use them, uh, use the consumable items sort of here in the beginning to improve fitness and contracts and that kind of stuff. So still quite nice uh, to, to complete these and uh, yeah, very, very easy. Apart from this last one, uh, I, I realized I had to put in an Italian to get a bit of chemistry. I didn't really want to use my Italians at this stage because I knew uh, they would sort of add depth to my squad if I had to sort of swap players around and get fitness and that kind of stuff. But uh, I ended up using two there and uh, we get an Xbox kit and uh, some packs to open up as well for completely sort of the entire set. So uh, first pack, not really anything amazing. As I said, some bronze players we can use in more challenges and some consumable items. Uh, then a bronze players pack, a bunch of players in this one, quite nice. We get a rare player and that will come in handy in just a second as you need rare bronze players in uh, sort of the next uh, squad building challenge. Um, so uh, quite nice to get that. Then we do have a pack just uh, with four items in it and nothing amazing in that one whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, just quickly showing all the stuff I'm getting from these packs. All goes to the club. And in the final pack, we do have two players pack. We do get a gold player and uh, it is an Argentinian in who is four star skills on him, but um doesn't really work into my plans uh, of my squats uh, so uh, yeah i just sent him to the club for now but we'll be using him shortly in the squat building challenge so first off as i was talking about you need a rare players in uh, this bronze squat building challenge so um I'm just looking here to get uh, get the chemistry in to the side and i just added in a bunch of random bronze players complete that got a premium bronze players pack we go out and uh, we open that up because at this stage, uh, I just need uh, as many players in as possible uh, in order to, to complete some challenges. So we open that up and we do get a rare summon. Like um, a lot of these players are pretty much useless apart from using them in challenges. And um, well, the next one was actually a silver challenge. So uh, here, I didn't have too many silver players in my club. So I went out and bought a lot of cheap friends ones for 150 coins. Uh, pretty much most of them. A couple of them cost a little bit more, around 300 coins, some of the rare ones and such. But uh, around 1,000, maybe 12, 1,300 coins to complete that one. And I got a premium silver players pack, I think it was. Or maybe it was just a regular silver players pack. But it's still quite nice uh, to get that for like a low amount of coins. One, you can probably just discard these players and get your coins back. You can list them up or you can save them for squat building challenges. So uh, I think that was uh, that was pretty decent. Uh, to get that and of course the final one with gold players uh, relatively cheap as well i bought herman for 800 coins i had ruiz and then i just bought some players that linked up from the mls for like 300 coins 300 to 400 coins so i spent around 2000 i think 3000 coins on that squad uh, but the rewards were definitely worth it so for completing the entire set i probably spent in total 4000 coins something like that and uh, we got an all players pack, uh, premium gold players pack, and of course the bronze and silver players packs as well, which were already open. Uh, but yeah, first off, we open up the all players pack, and I was in for a treat when I saw an in form popping up. It's not a good one by any means, but it is very, very nice to get an in form right from the beginning because it gives us a lot of coins right off the back. Um, and apart from that, not really anything good. So getting an in form in a pack where you don't expect to get anything amazing, I was very happy with that. Of course, my transfer list full 
at this stage in time. So all of the stuff will be sent to the club. And then I went out and opened up my premium gold players pack. And we get a bit more luck in this one as well. And that is a Keita, a very nice looking card. Uh, all around good stats, high dribbling. It's defending a little bit low, but very, very good looking card. We get a Licksteiner for our Serie A theme, and we got a couple more players there which we can throw into a Serie A squad. So I was very happy with this pack. I got some players I could use. And then Keita, I was thinking of selling him, but then I thought, hmm, it is a good looking player. He might go up in price more. And, um, we might be able to use him. So I decided to hang on to him. But I did decide to let go of my inform. Now there's things to be said about week one informs because they are usually pretty rare. They're gonna go up in price and so on. But this guy was discarded at this state. Uh, at this stage, so I decided to discount him because list him up for 9,400 coins. Well, I'll just lose more coins uh, after tax. So I decided to discard him and get in the coins because with those coins, I could build my starter squad. If I decide to hang on to him, I'll just have a random player I would never use and hope he'll go up in price. Much better just discarding him, getting the coins in and build my team. So, um, here you see, uh, I actually managed to get a starting 11 and then use some of the many players I got in my packs as sort of a depth in my squad. So I actually have a nice little team I can swap players around, have a couple of Serie A players uh, that can sort of go into to my lineup. So uh, Buffon is my goalkeeper for now, uh, but uh, he will of course be replaced in a couple of games. We have Koulibaly, I got him on loan. I picked up Nkulu who transfers to Serie A. Barreca on the left back, looks pretty decent. Licksteiner we packed and that is pretty much our starting defense. I think that's a nice cheap simple defense and then we need to replace um, uh, Koulibaly at one point. I got Gonalon who transferred to Roma into my squad. And then the star of the midfield, Selinski, five star weak foot, four star skills, and some quite decent stats. I am very much looking forward to trying him out. And only 2,000 coins. Brozovic on the other center mid spot. Then uh, Saponaro, who we packed, four star, four star on him. Uh, always a good little starter player. We'll eventually replace him. Perotti as my first striker, five star weak foot, four star skills. The work rate's not the best, definitely not the best striker. And that is maybe the one downside to. Syria not the best strikers for skilling. Uh, Ilicic, I picked up a little bit more expensive than his center four car, but he was converted and he had the Hawk chemistry style on him. So I thought that was a pretty decent price. Um, so we get him into our side. And that is pretty much our squad. In the next episode, we'll be playing some matches. But for now, we're going to end it off. And that is pretty much all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.